All right, it looks like our participant count is going up, which is great. So I'm going to get started. Welcome everyone to StriveScan College Launchpad. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Chelsea and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to the presenters at any time. This is one of many sessions happening, so be sure to check the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com launch. And now I'm going to turn it over to our first presenter and that is Independence Community College. It looks like independence may have had some technical difficulties. So Marietta, are you ready to jump in? Awesome, already, go for it. Awesome, let me share my screen here really quick. Oops, help if I start at the beginning. All right, so my name is Katie and I'm the Director of Admission at Marietta College. I'm really excited to be here. I love the concept of having presentations from all smaller schools because we all value that personal connection, that one-on-one -on -one attention, that small community feel. So knowing that, I'm really gonna focus on the location of Marietta, academics, hopefully to give you a little taste of what we can offer you. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love for you to come visit us to learn more. So this is a beautiful picture of our campus. Uh, we are located in Southeast Ohio in Marietta, Ohio, right along two different rivers. We are a residential campus, which means all students live on campus all four years in um, traditional first year housing, suite style, apartment housing, Greek life, you name it, we have something there. So I think living on a residential campus really builds that community, um, which makes working there and learning there that much more fun. Marietta, Ohio is a great small city. Um, National Geographic actually named it as one of their adventure towns to visit, and Smithsonian Magazine has consistently listed it as um, one of the top 20 small towns to visit. So not only is it a great institution, but it's a great place to live for your four years in college. It's a small city, about 15,000 people, always stuff going on. Um, like I mentioned, we are on two different rivers. So if you like to be outside, you like to be on the water, go hiking in the Hawking Hills or Wayne National Forest, uh, this could be a good place for you too. One of my favorite things that happens in Marietta, Ohio is the Sternwheel Festival. Again, being part of, of a Rivertown community lends itself to some unique opportunities, like some really great fireworks, a beautiful slice of Americana, lots of food, lots of music, um, and it's definitely one of my favorite festivals every year. Some other things that happen are our first Friday events um, where um, our stores are open late. There's different themes like this June coming. It's a downtown art walk. So different art installations, different festivals like our River Trails and Ales festivals, um, Shakespeare in the Park. Again, there's always something going on in town. Academically speaking, we are a great institution for a lot of different types of students. Whether you're thinking engineering, education, anything in the health field, we have paths for you to get you where you need to go. What I really pride um, ourselves on is really being a great institution for students who are undecided. I think there's a lot of pressure for students, whether they're a freshman in high school, a senior in high school, to know exactly what they want to major in. Um, and I, I definitely encourage you to keep an open mind. Um, our most popular major is undecided. So if you if you don't really have an idea or maybe you have a career in mind, you just don't know how to get there, we have support services to help you figure that out including our Career Services Center. They'll help you do career exploration. They'll help you build your resume, network, make sure you're prepared for your next step, whether that means an internship, 
grad school or finding a job. And I do want to highlight our Academic Resource Center as well. Um, our Academic Resource Center is a free service if you need tutoring, if you have any kind of um, accommodations that you need. Um, it's for students with a 4.0 who want to maintain their 4.0. It's for students like me who know they're not good at chemistry and they know I have to take chemistry next semester. Any kind of support that you need, um, they're there to give out to you. What I really like about Marietta as well is that they really incorporate becoming a leader no matter what uh, major or extracurriculars that you're involved in. So having those leadership experiences, whether that's studying abroad, whether that's uh, participating in our Fifth Street Consulting, um, Next Gen is where students actually get to sit on boards of local nonprofits just to get that really good hands-on experience. Um, and again, be prepared to be leaders once they leave Marietta. Um, if you're an athlete, we can definitely uh, accommodate you there. We are a member of the Ohio Athletic Conference. It's one of the oldest conferences in the country. Our men's rowing team actually just celebrated their 150th birthday. So a lot of really cool athletic tradition here at Marietta. Um, and our men's baseball team just made it to Super Regionals. So we are really excited to cheer them on next weekend as well. If you're interested in applying, we are rolling admission. So we start reviewing applications in August. We'll be sending out decisions starting in September and then through a rolling basis from there. Um, you will be automatically considered for merit-based scholarships with your application, but I do want to point out there's some really neat scholarship opportunities for students who are involved in the fine arts, esports, leadership scholarships, and service scholarships as well. So it's definitely worth taking a peek and seeing if any of those opportunities look good to you. Um, I know this is just a little bit of a taste about Marietta, so I really encourage you to give us a visit. Uh, this is our general uh, information, so if you want to give us a call, send us an email, visit our website, um, we'd love to help you learn more about Marietta. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Alrighty, next up we have Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. Hello all, my name is Brandon with PIA, the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics. Simply stated, what we do is put our graduates in a position to be able to have a wide variety of career choices in the industries of aviation, aerospace, robotics, as well as a plethora of other paths in the technological fields, which I'll share some of with you throughout my presentation today, some of the massive options that our students are able to look into while in our program or approaching graduation, she absolutely facilitate them on those career explorations all throughout. So PIA is a nonprofit educational institution in existence since 1929, making us one of the oldest aviation aerospace schools in the world. So nice to come into a rich history, get to stand on the shoulders of the graduates who have come before you. PIA is built on hands-on education, really being able to experience working on all different technologies while in our program. So then those skills, training and education can transfer into the industries. So the world of aviation is so vast, commercial aviation, aerospace, uh, medical transport, cargo transport, MRO, maintenance repair, overhaul centers. But simply stated, our graduates are qualified to work on all of that. Planes, jets, drones, blimps, helicopters, rockets, you name it, they're absolutely qualified to work on it, not only through our education, but our education culminating in students being certified by the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration, and or the FCC, Federal Communication Commission, depending on their uh, program that they enter. So if you're watching this live or watching me recorded later on, you can scan that QR code or simply go to pia.edu forward slash learn more to request more information. I'd love to have someone follow up with you, answer a question that comes to your mind, invite you to campus, whatever that next step looks like for you. But it doesn't end with planes, jets, drones, helicopters, and blimps. Essentially, if it moves mechanically, our graduates are qualified to work on it, whether in the maintenance sense, the engineering sense, the research and development sense. Robotics, submarines, Disney will hire our graduates to work on roller coasters. Some of the amazing boom we've seen with hospital diagnostic equipment as that continues to evolve. So like I said, so many different areas to explore absolutely in aviation and aerospace, but also well beyond that, creating an extreme demand for our students. 
Always like to share our top five employers from our Pittsburgh campus. Love Air Methods right there. We talked about medical transport, literally providing the transportation that saves lives by transporting patients and medical supplies. So great career to get into, to provide a good life for yourself, but also make your mark on the world. Commercial aviation, brightening lives, aerospace, helping humanity forge forward, cargo transportation, literally allowing our society to function. So you'll definitely have a chance to make your mark and help out humanity in those ways through your education. Find a full list of our graduates at pia.edu forward slash career dash services can serve as inspiration or motivation to, oh, I've never heard of that company. I might want to work there. Kind of just see students or grads that are a couple steps ahead of you. So I'll give you a glimpse into who we are at PIA. Nothing wrong with this, but as we're here in a small college seminar today, we're not your traditional huge four-year school. You're not going to see large lecture halls. We have about a 21 student to teacher ratio. And that's intentional because our classes are small, so our instructors who combined have over hundreds years industry experience can really not only dive into training our students, but really take on a mentorship role with them as they're working on actual aircraft. And that's one of my favorite things about PIA. You're seeing a little bit of a glimpse right there. Recently had a Rolls-Royce jet engine donated to our Youngstown campus. So all of our students working on some aircraft right there. And that's what you're gonna find at PIA. Students getting to live out the lessons they learn by working on actual aircraft. There's our Learjet, our North American Sabre liner in the background. Every one of my campuses has its own private hangar with planes, helicopters, uh, jet engines, avionics equipment for students to, like I said, not only properly prepare them for the industry, but find an enjoyment in their education by getting to work on this throughout. So we're looking for that hands-on learner that problem solver, someone who maybe didn't think the traditional four-year college path was the best course for them. Always like to show you, our Instagram serves as like a visual course catalog. Some of the aircraft our students work on, the projects, alumni spotlights, definitely use that to your advantage in exploration of your educational steps and even career. You have so many resources at your fingertips. And if you want a little bit more after I share with you tonight, feel free to check us out and get a visual sample size of what it looks like to be a student at PIA. So we are the Pittsburgh Institute of Aeronautics, but in the 2000s, due to extreme demand from the industry and students, we began to expand out to branch campuses in Youngstown, Ohio, Hagerstown, Maryland, and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, right on the ocean. We offer two programs, Aviation Maintenance Technology and Aviation Electronics Technology. Aviation Maintenance is the brawn of the aircraft, wings, landing gear, propulsion systems, the physicality, Offered as a 21 month associate in specialized technology degree at our Pittsburgh main campus. Or if you don't want any general education, just dive into the technical skills. 16 month certification at our branch campuses, both culminate in that FAA certification. If aviation maintenance is the brawn, avionics or aviation electronics technology is the brain, radar, flight control, navigation, only offered as a 21 month associate in specialized technology degree program, culminating in that FCC license. For the right student, we do offer a dual ticket option, can be completed in 33 months. We train aviation maintenance technicians. Simply stated, their job is to ensure aircraft or anything I mentioned operate optimally and safely. Huge opportunity, prestige, and demand in this. Want you to be proud of your job. Obviously, want you to have a massive amount of opportunities like I share. And I want there to be demand for you. 63% of technicians are over 50 years old right now, leaving a huge gap for that next generation. There are some of Boeing's projections over the course of your career, roughly the next 20 years. So you're gonna definitely have some amazing opportunities to work in this industry. Just recently competed in the AMC competition. Every one of our campuses sent a team. That's the aerospace maintenance competition held annually. Most recently in Dallas, Texas, it's been Orlando, Florida, Atlanta. If an athlete gets to show off his skills on the sports field, if a theater kid does on the stage, a uh, debate team gets to show off their skills that way. This is a tech student's chance to show off their skills. Network, we have many students offer jobs during these. And as you can see, we do pretty well. One of the few colleges who gets the honor of competing in this and something extra our students can do. We also have, have had several students win the Mike Rose Scholarship for Trade Education. Great to look into, can be used at PIA, but any trade education, nice little empowerment. 
We also have a tuition reimbursement program going on with Piedmont Airlines for our Myrtle Beach and Hagerstown campus. If you agree to work for them for two years, they will pay your tuition in full. An amazing opportunity. Not only that, but give you a fully loaded toolbox and really just be there to support us with Piedmont, a subsidiary of American Airlines. A great beginning career or just career destination for some of our students. There once more is that QR, QR code, pia.edu forward slash learn more. I know if you're like me, five questions might pop in your head after you saw this, or if you're watching this recorded, or even more so, I just recently hosted our open house in Myrtle Beach, uh, South Carolina. We have them across, across all four campuses, four times a year, whether on a personal tour or for one of those, I would love to invite you and have someone follow up with you on that. So thank you so much for taking time with us today and hearing me out. Uh, hope to see you soon on the flight lines at PIA. Wonderful, thank you. All right, and so that looks like is it for the uh, students, or I'm sorry, for the presenters who are here with us, a couple were unable to make it. So we are gonna move on to the next portion of the session. So um, I have a couple questions for the two of you. Um, and so my first question is, um, what advice do you have for students going through the search process, either now or sometime in the near future? And uh, we'll bump up to Marietta to start. Um, I would definitely say keep an open mind. You never know what you're going to like until you visit a school. I think visiting is the best way to go. Um, I know when I was going through the college search process, I thought I wanted a really big school and I ended up at a really small school and my sister was the complete opposite. So there's not a bad school. It just has to be the right fit for you. So I think keeping an open mind and visiting would be my, my best advice to give any student. Absolutely, thank you. PIA? I absolutely agree with Katie right there. I'll kind of piggyback on that a little bit. Explore your options and empower yourself through that exploration. There's no set correct career or educational course or path that's right for everyone. It really comes down to what's right for you, your personality, your passion, and ultimately what you want in school. So we have a free career readiness quiz on our website. Anyone can take it, whether you're interested in PI or not, give you some insight on what career path would be best for you. But also when you're interviewing with the school, Yes, they're interviewing and qualifying you, but you're doing the same. Don't be discouraged to ask questions, to really pry in a respectful way. But I actually like it when a student does it. It shows me that they've thought about the opportunity and are taking it seriously. My last bit of tangible advice that could be really helpful, and I wish I had when I was going through the process, create a separate email for all your college search or application admissions aspects, whether just getting those emails or once you've committed, to be on top of everything, our personal emails get full of all our streaming services, all the different things that we haven't unsubscribed to yet. So to have that one-stop shop email that you can go to, I think will help you organizationally uh, very much through both sides of the process, exploration and admission. Awesome, thank you. All righty, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? And we'll go to Marietta. Sure, so I touched on this a little bit in our presentation, the whole leadership aspect. Um, we actually have an undergraduate degree in leadership. It's a competitive program. Um, but I think, you know, no matter if you're in that program or not, it's kind of woven into our curriculum. Um, I think, you know, getting your education, going to your classes is really important, but if you don't utilize those leadership opportunities and um, extracurricular involvement opportunities to build that resume, um, you know, you might not stand out as much when you apply for those jobs. So I think Marietta does a really good job of just kind of weaving that in to the curriculum. So all students have the opportunity to have those leadership opportunities, no matter what major uh, they're pursuing. Thank you. PIA? I would say if you come to PIA, it's going to be where passionate people and technology come together. That's the one thing you're going to find. And what I've really come to love about PIA and any culture you're going to enter into are the people invested in it. Is it not only something that they do as instructors, admissions, students, staff, but are they excited about what they do every day? And that's what you're going to find at PIA. And a huge part of that is the unique aspect that our students are working on actual aircraft during their education that instructors aren't simply teaching out of a book or off videos, which they can use as resources, but they actually get to go out to that aircraft. And I think sparks a lot of passion in our students and spills over to the entire staff. So if you're someone who likes to work with your hands and maybe weren't sure what the next step for you, maybe a trade school or PIA would be a good fit to at least look into. 
Awesome. Thank you. And my last question is, what is one myth you'd like to debunk on the admissions process? We'll go back down to Marietta. Um, shoot, I think a couple different things. I think there is that myth that a small school means small opportunities, especially a small school in a small city. Um, and I think, you know, everyone pretty much presenting today in the small, small student section um, would agree that small school really means quicker access to resources and that you can still have those really great opportunities even at a small school. Um, and the other, I'm cheating, I'm picking two. The other one I would say is, you know, you have more support than I think you realize. I think a lot of students feel like they have to do this on their own, um, but every school that you're looking at is going to have admission officers, um, you know, through your high school, whether it's a teacher or a guidance counselor, um, almost half of our students at Marietta are first gen students. So I think sometimes it can be a little intimidating to start the process, but it is always okay to ask for help. There are no stupid questions and there, there are more people in your corner wanting to help you figure out where your best fit is. So don't be shy and ask questions um, to those individuals. Thank you. PIA? I think one myth I'd like to debunk is that the process is overwhelming. And while that can seem to be the case, I like to call it the domino mentality. I use this in my work week. If you look at everything you have to do throughout the process, it can get very overwhelming. But instead, look at it as, as dominoes, one task in front of another. And the great thing, like Katie said, about small schools, really all schools, but I'll speak on us as small schools, is you're going to have admission staff to walk and talk you through every step. Here's what we have next. At PIA, touring is a requirement. So let's set up that tour. Let's have you go through the financial aid process. So don't look at it as everything you have to do. Look at them as tasks in order. And I think that'll make it a lot more palatable for you to be able to go through the process at the right time. And be ahead of the game if you can. If you're coming in late and it's the end of your senior year, you can actually make up that time. But begin exploration, junior year, even sophomore year, to really put yourself in a position that you're making empowered decisions as opposed to rushed decisions because you only have this much time left. And since I have a moment, I'll kind of back up one more. I want to thank Chelsea and StriveScan. We've done a lot with them, and they're just an amazing organization who empowers the youth. So as I thank them, a thank you to each and every one of you today. I love to see students taking their own time to explore options and put themselves in a position to have the happiest and best life possible. And working is going to be a huge aspect of your life. So if you can find a career that you find not only can provide for your family, but enjoyment in and can pour your passion into, I think it makes all the difference. And each one of you are taking a step in the right direction by just being here. So kudos to everyone watching live or recorded. I couldn't have ended better myself. That was phenomenal. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna wrap things up here. Um, so thank you to our presenters for putting this information together and, and spending time with us. Um, and thank you to our participants uh, for joining us. So when you close this window, there'll be a link to a very quick survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. We encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions for the rest of the week. And if there's a session you wanna watch again or you weren't able to see, all of them will be recorded and available at strivescan.com slash launch. And that's it for us. Thanks so much. Bye.